Hi guys, it's Tracy here again. Um, this is part two of um, a little video series where I'm showing you how to add an exit pop to your uh, WordPress blog. So um, if you haven't watched that video, I'd watch that one first because it's not really going to make sense what I'm going to do here. Uh, what I'm going to do is take one of the templates provided by the bigsellingoptins.com plugin and I'm going to take some code from um, an autoresponder program. The one I'm going to use is Constant Contact, but um, what I'm going to show you is pretty much interchangeable with most uh, autoresponder programs. So first thing I'm going to do is I've got right here the code and um, I'm basically just going to select, oops, sorry, select it and copy it. Okay. And then I'm going to jump over here. Now, this is one of my templates that I'm going to insert my code in here for. Uh, the first thing I want to do is take out the field um, that is there. And the reason I want to do this is because when I paste in the new code, it's going to um, automatically rename some of the um, field names. So for example, where it says name, when I paste in the new code from here, my constant contact, it's going to call it name two or something like that. And I don't want it to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is take out, I'm just going to click on this field and delete it and click on this one and delete it. And then I'm going to go down to the very bottom of my code and I'm going to put, um, sorry, I'm going to put some breaks here. Okay. And I'm going to paste in my code down below. Okay, so I just took the code that was over here in Constant Contact, I came over here and I pasted it into the very bottom of my form. Now you can see when I scroll down, like there's my little form for Constant Contact. Now Constant Contact only has email, it doesn't allow you to put the first name field there. So unless it does, maybe it does, I don't know, I'm, I don't really care at this point because what I'm going to show you is going to apply to any field. It doesn't really matter. So um, for this example, I'm going to take this whole row out because I don't want to, I'm not going to have the name field. So the first thing I want to do is I notice in this form, I have two little pieces of code here and I'm using Dreamweaver and Dreamweaver actually takes um, the code up here. For example, I have a hidden input value and it shows it to me in the form of this little yellow icon and I'm just going to click on it uh, on both of them and hold my shift key down click one hold my shift key down click the other one and I'm going to drag them up and I'm going to put them in front of the your email label then I'm going to take the field right here that I'm uh, entering my email I'm going to click that and then drag it right up to here okay and the other thing I'm going to do is just quickly check out my go button. So down here I got my go button. I have type submit, name is go, value go, class. Um, this is just for the styling, which I don't need. Okay, so that's really irrelevant. Um, basically, it's an input type of submit and the name is go. So I'm, I'm not too concerned with that. Um, the, the other thing I really want to do is I want to go to what I'm going to do is just I'm going to select the word join so it's going to take me up towards the top of the form and I'm going to scroll up here in the code and I'm going to look for um, oops sorry I'm, I'm going to look for the opening form tag okay and I'm going to select the whole thing because it's got in here basically the action of once the user clicks the send me my free report button this is where it's going to take them so from the very opening tag here in front of form to the very closing um, bracket the little greater than sign I'm going to select that and I'm going to cut it because I, I don't I want to get rid of it anyways and then I'm going to go up here to this part of the form to because there's another form up here and I'm going to find where the form code is now. Now see here, this is what came in the template and I want to replace it with the constant contact one. So I'm just going to select that and overwrite it with the one from constant contact. Okay. And then everything else should be pretty much the same. There's my two hidden values. There's my email field and um, my button, which is my submit button. 
and that's pretty much it so everything down here below now I can delete okay and that's pretty much it so basically you're just copying any hidden val hidden inputs you're copying your fields and placing them where you want them and then you're copying and removing the original form tag which is at the top um, so I'm replacing the form tag here with the form tag from constant contact and um, that's pretty much it now this forms ready to go it's now going to work with my constant contact um, autoresponder and that's it I hope that helps if you have any questions leave me a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out okay thanks take care